What's up everyone? Welcome back to Let's Play Silent Hill. For the first time in this playthrough, we have a set agenda. Because the last time we started a little side quest off. This is the only time throughout the game I have known or will know explicitly what to do because this side quest impacts the ending. And even if I didn't specifically remember what to do here, it'd be hard for me to know as much as I do about Silent Hill without knowing how to do this side quest. So for once, I actually know exactly what to do and where to go. Besides, I'm going to get the good plus ending, because it's, I think, the canonical one. And I need to do this quest to do that. And this is it for Annie's Bar. So, let's head outside. Back there, it almost looked like you could pick the pool cue up and use that as a weapon. But I happen to know that the weapons we have right now, the hammer, the axe, the pipe, and the knife, the four melee weapons we have, along with the rifle, the handgun, and the shotgun, are the only weapons we're going to be getting this playthrough. There are, let's see, I believe it's four or five other weapons that exist in the game. This was what, 0473, right? Kind of just glance at the receipt. Yeah, there we go. There are a couple other weapons of the game. There's a rock drill, which you get in New Game Plus, in, I think, the tower where the bridge was. That actually needs gasoline to use, and it forces you to pick between that and the uh, the chainsaw, which is another weapon you get in New Game Plus. There's a katana, like the one in Silent Hill 3. Hold one second. I want to read this. August 20th. He came by. I handed over the package that the woman left here. September 12th. He showed up at Norman's, too. Don't want to be involved with the likes of them anymore, but... Getting creeped out even more than before. Thought of leaving town, but I'm afraid of what'll happen if I do. Let's go ahead and grab that health drink, and figure out what's in the safe. What is this? Drugs? Not drugs, they're the worst. Three loaves of bread, two cartons of milk, two dozen eggs. Deliver to backdoor daily, 8 a.m., rear entrance code 0886. 0886. Norman Young. Okay, so that sounds like it should be the start of a riddle or a clue or something. None of that's significant, none of the shopping list matters. It's just the only thing you want is the combination 0886. Norman's grand opening, and the picture in the background features a motel. And that's going to be the next location we're off to. The third and final destination for the side quest. And I believe that as soon as I come out here, there's going to be a romper roaming around. So let's not get pounced on by him. And then once we are clear of danger, open up the map and check out where... We're going to get to the inn. Let's see. I guess I could just make a sharp left and head down Weaver. Let me try that, actually. Oh, there's two of them. Shit. And while I'm making my way down to the hotel, the other two weapons I was thinking of were the katana. Like I was saying, it's similar to the one you get in Silent Hill 3. You get the katana, I believe, on the second New Game Plus, so you have to beat the game with one of the good endings. There are two good endings, and then you also have to beat it again with one of the bad endings, and there are two bad endings. That's how you unlock the katana. Oh, shit, there's that too. Keypad. 0886, right? 0886. Hopefully I hit the 8 twice. It did, it did. Oh, damn it. Instead of going through the door, he decided to hit the keypad. Great. Oh, and before I forget, the last weapon is the Hyper Blaster, which is just kind of dumped in your inventory when you plug the, uh, the Konami Justifier in. The Konami Justifier is an old light gun, and the, the Hyper Blaster is an infinite ammo laser gun that gets better every time you go to a new New Game Plus. Oh, and there's also the Channeling Stone, which isn't a weapon. You get that in New Game Plus in a convenience store. And the, what the Channeling Stone does, I mentioned this back in Midwitch, 
Oh, right, there's this. September 10th. Took package. Told to sit on it a while. Don't want to get involved, but I can't disobey. He's probably linked to the death of the mayor and others. Who was he that that's referring to? Maybe we'll find out when I can navigate this coffee table and read the newspaper. There we go. It's the same date as the one in the hospital. Investigation stalled. PTV dealers still at large. Suspicious deaths continue like the anti-drug mayor. A narcotics officer dies of a sudden heart failure of unknown origins. Talking about Officer Gucci, who we learned about back when we serendipitously meandered back into the police station after the Otherworld Town Center. So it looks like this mysterious drug, PTV, which is derived from White Claudia, has been linked to the deaths of several people in this town. And it looks like we're kind of closing in on the mystery of this whole drug trafficking ring. And considering we got a key from one Michael Kaufman that led us on this whole side quest that's leading us down this road of discovery, who knows, maybe Kaufman has something to do with this drug trafficking ring that's <laughs> gripped this peaceful, tranquil resort town by the throat. Now, if I remember correctly, the key was for room number three. Might as well drink a little bit of health potion while we're here. Oh, uh, where are you, key? Yeah, it's for number three. I didn't have to go through that, just wanted to confirm. That's pretty odd, by the way. That I didn't have to go into my inventory and use it in front of the door, it just kind of let me in automatically. That almost looks like a note on the door I can read, but I can't. I should have known it would just cause me an exit. Oh well, back inside. And I believe we are going to get another clue about the drug trafficking ring inside here. Or I could be completely wrong about that. I am. I am super, super wrong. What we do get is... Pick it up, Harry. A health drink. Let's see, I do something with the shelf. I know that. Ah, I push it. I remember it all good and stuff. And stuff. Man, I be pushing those those shelves like a pro. I used to do it for a living. Then I pulled a hamstring. Now I get disability. And we get a motorcycle key. So remember that room that I said we weren't going in yet? Because there would be no point to doing that. Why don't we go back in that room now? See if there's finally a point to doing that. I think there will be. That's not the right door. I'm starting to talk in a really high inflection. I can't stop myself. I'm crazy. Anyway. Nope. Thought cutscene was gonna start playing. Alrighty. Oh, wait, that was the jam door. The door I want to go through is this one, because the one on the left would take me back outside. So if we look around here, really the only thing of note in the environment, aside from the shotgun shells. Oh, and a little bit of health on the stepladder. The only thing of note in this room is a motorcycle. Is it Michael Kaufman's kick-ass motorcycle? No one will ever know. However, it's an old motorcycle, and it looks like it's been sitting here for years. That's weird. The dust is wiped away just around the gas tank cap. Wonder what I should let's use the motorcycle key. <laughs> no playing coy this episode. Maybe a little. Maybe a little. Small glass vial wrapped in a plastic bag. What's this? It's like the busted vial I found in the director's office at the hospital. Remember who the director of the hospital was? It was Michael Kaufman. Also, I definitely remembered back then what that red liquid was, and I'm so happy that I actually did remember. Even though, in retrospect, it seems super obvious. Give me that. What is this? That's none of your business. Instead of messing with that, how about coming up with a way to get out of here? Hmm. You shouldn't be hanging around here goofing off. What do you think you're doing? 
You want to get yourself killed? Get out of here. Okay, take it easy. Unless you want to die, keep your mind on business. Got it? Right, Harry, you were so worried about Cheryl that you decided to come down here for no real reason. Like, you didn't know that you were going to find anything here. You just kind of said, hey, there's a key. Forget my daughter. That's just boring. I'm going to go trace this and I'm just going to go investigate. I'm going to become a detective. I'm going to find some material for my next novel. I'm sorry, I'm done with this whole kidnap missing daughter deal. Oh, hell, where am I going? Now that the side quest is over and that and it is over, it will we will find a payoff for it sometime down the line, exactly at the ending to be precise. So, but for the time being, we don't get any real resolution except Kaufman comes in, acts like a real defensive dickhead, and kind of uh, seals the deal for Harry that mm, Kaufman's probably behind the drug the drug trafficking ring, and it sounds. From uh, some of those documents we found, they was distributing PTV out of the hospital. And there was an allusion to another person, a her. So, could be Lisa, could be Dahlia, What's could this? be someone else. Oh. Oh. I don't like this feeling like something bad will happen. Harry, has a good thing happened to you in Silent Hill? More to the point, has a good thing happened to you in this particular otherworld nightmare section of Silent Hill? Have you ever seen everything just suddenly turn rust-colored and hellish? While monsters stalk the street and skip alongside you merrily. Has this ever happened to you in a situation that flowers suddenly grew out of the ground and I found Cheryl and went home and we had a relaxing vacation? No, that didn't happen yet, did it now? So do I want to go down this alleyway on the left or do I... I'll try going the more straightforward route. Because I don't know what's waiting at the end of the scary-ass alleyway. A romper was. Uh, try to get away as best I can. So, yeah, with the end of the side quest, I really am back to not quite knowing what to do, but given how straightforward the map for this section is, and there's a pier and a lighthouse at the very end of this. Oh, night flutter. I have a pretty good idea about where I should be going right now. Oh, damn, there's two of them? Oh no, I've walked into a dead end. Ah, uh, one of them was gonna get me. Oh, stairs, narrow walkways and stairs. You're really doing this to me right now, Silent Hill? Ugh. Alright, what next? What next? Nothing. Complete serenity. Great. Sybil. Harry! How did you get back here? I followed the sewer. Were you the one who cut the fence? Yeah. I'm glad you made it. I was worried about you. You were worried? Where did you disappear to? Never mind. I want to know what's going on here. What is with this town? This may sound really off the wall, but listen to me. You've got to believe me. I haven't gone crazy, and I'm not fooling around. 
At first, I thought I was losing my mind. But now I know I'm not. It's not me. This whole town. It's being invaded by the other world. By a world of someone's nightmarish delusions come to life. Little by little, the invasion is spreading. Trying to swallow up everything in darkness. I think I'm finally beginning to understand what that lady was talking about. Harry, hold on a minute. I don't get it. Look, I don't understand it all myself. I guess I can't explain it. Well, what's making this happen? I don't know that either. But I do know Cheryl is there. There? Under whoever created this darkness. Cheryl is somewhere and she needs my help. Harry. This whole thing's been a major blow to you. You need to rest. Sybil, I... The demon is awakening, spreading those wings. Dahlia Gillespie. Was it not as I said? I see it all now. Yes, everything. Hungry for sacrifice, the demon will swallow up the land. I knew this day would come. And what's more, the task is almost finished. There's only two left. To seal this town to the abyss, the mark of Samael. When it is completed, all is lost. Even in daytime, darkness will cover the sun. The dead will walk and martyrs will burn in the fires of hell. Everyone will die. So what am I supposed to do? I've got to save Cheryl. It is simple. Stop the demon. The demon, the demon taking that child's form. Stop it before your daughter becomes a sacrifice. Before it is too late. Stop it. Stop it. What do I do? Go to the lighthouse on the lake and to the center of the amusement park. Make haste. You are the only hope. Look, Harry. I really don't get what's going on. But if there's a chance we can save your daughter, I'm in. I'll check out the amusement park. You go to the lighthouse. Sybil, thanks. You will need to use it. Use what? The flowers. Only with that can you stop it. What about Sybil? I really have a, I have a real problem taking the non-FMV cutscenes in this game seriously when everyone is posed like action figures' arms. Stiff at their sides, no mouth movement. I know it's a technical limitation of the PS1, but man, this is the one aspect that just of, of Silent Hill that has just grossly not aged well in any conceivable way. It really does look like someone, especially when you add the really bad voice acting in, it really does look like someone's just posing action figures. So Dahlia shows up to tell us that we have to use... The Flowros, which we have not learned a whole lot about so far. We got it back in the Balkan church when, well, Dahlia gave it to us. She shows up to tell us that Alessa is a demon child. And that we have to use the Flowros to stop her. And you know what else happens to that cutscene? Harry makes some real incredible leaps. Ah, shit, get off me. For the man who not two minutes earlier... Saw the world before him change into the nightmarish other world and stated something bad might happen. 
it's a real jump for a man of his intellect. <laughs> For him to go and figure out that this is a world of someone's nightmarish delusions come to life. Also, god damn it, I can't get up and move around with these guys. I was getting so frustrated. I got chain pinned to the floor. Shit. Also, um, I was so happy that that boat scene wasn't complete dog shit because I finished Shattered Memories a few weeks ago and the boat scenes in that. Don't quite go like that, depending on your choices. Shattered Memories is a real piece of shit, by the way. One of the possibilities for the boat scene in uh, Shattered Memories has Harry record a sex tape with teenagers, and, uh, and another one is after Harry goes through the whole ordeal and he finally is Dahlia, who's also smoking out 20-something for some reason, in a, a position where he can finally start really demanding answers about what the hell is going on in Silent Hill and where his daughter is. They take off in a boat and Dolly is like, well, it'll take 20 minutes or so. And then they all fuck instead of Harry trying to take advantage of the, uh, of the situation to get something explained. Shattered Memories is horrendous. It's a re... Fuck it. I fuck all in a reimagining. It's a reboot that's significantly worse than Homecoming. Let that sink in. It's so bad that it makes me feel like I've been too harsh on Homecoming. Fucking hate Shatter Memories. Wait. Damn, I was too late. Video is freaking out a little bit. Also, got a little glimpse of Alessa, but no interaction. What can I do around here? There's a giant uh, mark of Samael on the floor. Alleged mark of Samael. Tease, 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 tease. Okay. Guess I'm gonna try to head back downstairs. Is, is it just me or did the music change? Is there anything out here I missed? Because I can't do anything upstairs. So I'm assuming this is like the elevator bathrooms in Nightmare Midwich. Oh, there you are right there, aren't you? Okay. Are you are you guys just going to get stuck down here and then chase me off in a little bit? Or are you going to, is your pathing going to eventually find its way back up here? Because I'm ready. Oh, no. No, they're just... Uh, I can't believe how dumb they are. This is really a sight. I don't... F <laughs> Let me move forward a little bit. Maybe that'll get them to come to me. Oh my god. Come on! Get up the stairs! I've seen you do it before! As soon as I come down the stairs, I'm gonna get hit by both of them. So I would like to be able to handle them right now before it becomes an issue. Oh, son of a bitch. Am I, I'm going to run for it. What? I can't tell if I got hit or not. That didn't crash me, right? Okay. I don't Sybil has understand how back. I'm back here. Whatever. Impossible space. That creep's sure to show up at the amusement park pretty soon. Let me be on time. What? Now, Harry, when you say that creep... It's really hard to tell whether or not you're talking about Kaufman, Dahlia, or Alessa here. I mean, I'm assuming he means Alessa, but I don't know. It's not perfectly clear to me. Okay, where, where am I actually heading now? Because I, my objective does not seem to be perfectly clear to me right now. Lighthouse is blocked off. I can't go back to South Park. South Park, what are you doing here? Oh, wait, there's a big red arrow towards the left side of West Sanford Street. So, I guess I'll work my way backwards and then head that way. Looks like there's less stuff out. There's a dog right on the stairs. Great. And I know that there are night flutters around. So great. There's three dogs. 
Oh my god, the dog's pathing drives me absolutely insane. It does not want to co cooperate. It does not want to cooperate. And that's pretty much the worst case scenario. <laughs> so I'm taking a left as soon as possible. Yeah. So I want to follow this street, which should, should be Sanford. Is this something? Oh, no, doggy. Bad. Whatever. Just make a break for it. Duh. This could... This really could have gone better. Could Sybil have gone to the amusement park from here? I guess we're going to the amusement park. Ah, clumsy old Sybil. Ah, we are in a second sewer section. I was wondering why before there was a little subtitle or a little note on the sewer map. It's because we have a second one now. Also, this looks... Let me look at this in more detail real quick. No, it's only this floor. This is more simple than the homecoming sewer. Hmm. Okay, it's a straight line. Guess we will start doing that and head into the amusement park in the next episode. Thanks for watching, everyone. Take it easy. Have a good one.